Hi, hey, YouTube, what's up? It's Joe D. <laughs> We're here for another beer review. This time it'll be a little different, okay? I'm going to be reviewing two beers at the same time, two beers from the same brewery. I'm already a little uh, prejudiced because the two other beers I've had from this brewery have been phenomenal. So I figured with the discussion that we had on the Friday share of beer, uh, this past Friday share of beer, our friends from across the pond were kind of wondering, you know, what the difference is in some of these hops. And I felt that two beers from the same brewery, the same basic overall American IPA style would help with some of that. We'll go into the descriptions of the beer from the brewery uh, and talk about the, the brewery gives excellent descriptions of the hops that they use in it, uh, the uh, nose and mouthfeel and taste that you should get out of these beers. And, and hopefully that'll kind of clear up some of the, um, you know, the questions that some people might have, you know, with the different you know, styles of beer in the hop and so forth, okay? So here we go. We're getting right into it. I've got two different glasses, okay? So, but still easy to see the beer in. And, of course, uh, from the description, you already know. So this is the Trillium Street, uh, Trillium Brewing Stilling Street, okay? Ugh. Ouch. That's tough to see, isn't it? Boy, my light isn't helping at all, is it? There we go. White can, white light. It's tough to see. In any case, trust me, it's just <laughs> okay. It's the Trillium Street. Oh, that is killing me. Anyway, and and so this is the Sleeper Street, okay, which is again very hard to see, but trust me, it's the Sleeper Street. All right. So I'll be using the Guinness glass for the Sleeper Street, okay. And then just the clear glass, the regular, no label on it at all for the Stilling Street, okay? Like I say, they're both IPAs. Uh, this will be a little bit of a lengthy review, okay, because we're doing two beers at the same time. Uh, we got Coach and Tom in the chat. For my reviews, I don't typically let people in live but because um, I'm trying just to get through the reviews. So you're welcome to be in the chat, though. Um, so let's get right to it, man. Let's Let's share the screen here and 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 get right to these reviews so we're going to start with the sleeper street okay this is from trillium brewing okay and we'll cover this description like i said it's going to be a little bit of a lengthy review but i want people to understand what different hops and the different malts it do to the same style of beer from the same brewery okay uh sleeper street ipa uh following the footsteps of our uh Street IPAs, okay, that's their Street IPA series of beers. Uh, Sleeper sh uh, shares the same base grains while placing the unique Eldorado hop at center stage, okay? Opaque, orange, yellow in color with flavor uh, with floral aromas of lime zest, grapefruit peel, pine sap, and candied orange, okay? So you're going to get you're going to get those aromas in there. Juicy hop driven flavors of bright citrus, melon, and herbal pine are balanced with medium bitterness, uh, fluffy mouth feel, uh, feel, and dry finish. Okay, so you're going to get aromas from the hops um, that are lime zest, grapefruit peel, the peel, not the meat of the grapefruit, okay, uh, pine sap, and candied orange. Okay, that's that's kind of what you should expect from from the nose, from the from the aroma, juicy hop-driven flavors of bright citrus, melon, and herbal pine, and, and medium bitterness uh, and a fluffy mouthfeel are what you're going to get from the taste and the actual feel of the body of the beer in your mouth. Okay, 7.2. Both these beers are 7.2%. So this was a really good. And these beers are Tom is right here in the in the chat right now. He's the one that sent the beers. This this is going to be a real good example for you. I thought this was a perfect time to do a two beer review. Okay, um, the the malts are American two roll barley, uh, white wheat, dextrin, and C15. Okay, now key is this Eldorado hop and the Columbus hop. Okay, 
though, and like they say up here, El Dorado Hop is at center stage. That's going to give you those those uh, mouth, you know, that description. Okay. Beer Advocate has this beer at uh, 70 reviews, gets a 94. Uh, all these beers are, have just been phenomenal. Okay. The bros give it an 80. Um, and that description is going to be the same. Uh, they have it as an American, uh, they meaning Beer Advocate has it as an American IPA. I'm going to click this description once, okay, because they're both American IPAs. To give you Beer Advocate's description of the style of beer, okay? The American IPA is a different soul from the reincarnated IPA style. More flavorful than the withering English IPA, color can range from very pale golden to reddish amber. Hops are typically American with a big herbal and or citric character. Bitterness is high as well. Moderate to medium body with balancing with a balancing malt backbone. Okay. And the style is typically 5.5 to 7.5%. This is the important part. The temperatures. Beer Advocate is one of the ones. Every website, rating website has its pluses and minuses. And this is one of the good parts of Beer Advocate. They give you cellaring temperatures, which you shouldn't cellar a IPA as long as I do, okay? But in any case, 40 to 45 degrees is recommended for cellaring, and they just give you suggestions, right? This is just suggestions. 45 to 50 degrees for serving, okay? Now, I definitely have these closer to the 45, and that is why another reason why I'm sampling these at the same time, okay? Now... We'll go into uh, the untapped, okay? The Sleeper Street is uh, 15,000 plus re uh, ratings on here. 100, I mean, 911 in the last uh, 30 days. 4.21 bottle cap rating, okay? And that's out of five. That's very good, all right? Now, we'll get into the Stilling Street IPA, okay? Now, the Stilling Street... Uh, this new edition, and this is from Trillium Brewing, okay? This new edition in our street series of IPAs spotlights the remarkably complex Nelson, and I'm, I might mess this up, might not, but the Suvine Hop. Stilling Street is hazy, pale orange in appearance, and emits aromatic qualities of kiwi. This is the aromatic, so this, this, keep that in mind. This is from your nose, the smell. Uh, quality is kiwi, white grape, and lemongrass on the nose, okay? Delicate f flavors. Now, that's your taste of citrus zest, pineapple, and cantaloupe are accentuated with crisp malt character. Uh, and this is the, the – the, the, they're talking now about the body of the beer, how the beer is going to feel in your mouth. Malt character, mild bitterness and a soft effervescent mouthfeel, okay? So, again, 7.2%, 7, 7 American two-roll barley, uh, white wheat, C15. You're seeing the same stuff again, okay? And that, that's why I thought this was very, very good time to do this. Nelson, Suvine, and Columbus. So you're seeing very, very similar stuff here. Um, again, uh, it's an American IPA. Now, there's only 29 reviews, 95 on Beer Advocate uh, here. You're seeing, you know, the same everything here, okay? Uh, the salaring will be the same because it's the same styling. We're going to get to uh, Untapped here. Uh, Stilling Street, okay? Uh, 6,543 uh, ratings at the time of this review. 1,363 at the time... Uh, in the last 30 days, I'm sorry, and a 4.34 uh, bottle cap rating, which is really high. That's that's pretty damn good. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm sure Trillium is in, very very excited with the reviews they're getting. Uh, their their beer is phenomenal so far. I'm like I say, I'm very very prejudiced. Okay, again, Guinness for the Sleeper Street, and I don't know how to tone that label down but trust me this is the sleeper street and then the clear one for the stealing so here we go we're gonna do we're gonna pour both of them i'm gonna attempt taking pictures of both of them so that part might take a second okay as a matter of fact i'm gonna get my camera ready on my i just use my phone so the and the reason i take a picture for those of you that don't know is so i can post on untapped okay as well um 
and, and I'll, I'll cover that uh, my username on tap in a second. Let's get to these. I don't want them to let them warm up too much. I want them to be very comparable. Uh, oh, little smoke on the on on the crack of the can there a little bit. I usually pour about a third and then kind of go straight in afterwards. I uh, want to see the want to see that head on that beer, and and these are 16 ounce cans, so I'm not I'm not gonna uh, I, I believe they're 16 ounce cans. Burr, burr, burr. They sure do look like it if they're not. Uh, I'm just gonna call it a 16 ounce can. I have I'm pretty sure. Okay. In any case, here's the look. This again is the sleeper street. Okay. Great look at that. That is a fantastic looking beer. Nice orange color in there. Um, nice and cloudy. Tons of carbonation in this beer. The carbonation you're seeing stuck to the sides of the bottle is very similar. And that head is uh, a nice big fluffy white head. As you look on the top, it's it looks about the same. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice, big, fluffy, uh, kind of cottony looking type of head. Okay. Clear glass is going to be the stilling street. Okay. We're going to crack the can. <laughs> oh, we got better smoke out of that one. Okay. Nice. I, man, I love smoke. I still love smoke, man. It's still that beer advertising from the 70s that I grew up with. And and that's where that comes from. I'm keeping the the glasses and whatever in the different areas of my desk so I don't get them mixed up. Very similar looking. Already, I'm smelling this one. Wow. Already. Okay. Very similar. Very, very similar. So if I didn't keep these in separate glasses in different areas, I have to hurry and get a picture. Okay. So let me get a picture of my sleeper street. Let me get this picture. Ba, ba, ba. Let me get this. Okay. And then let me get a picture over here of the Stilling Street. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, so got that out of the way. Now we'll do the Sleeper Street in this glass, Stillings in this. Look, they look very similar, very comparable. <laughs> I mean, you really couldn't tell them apart other than the nose. The nose is immediate, okay? Sleeper Street, again, uh, we're going to pull up the uh, Sleeper Street description here. Now, they say the El Dorado no, uh, hop was at center. Okay, so you should get lime zest, grapefruit, pine sap. Yep, absolute big lime zest, absolute. You're getting that, that real nice, and it's a sweet smell in there too. Real, God, a real nice, God. <laughs> I wish you could smell these beers, man. I swear. It's insane. I still got to thank Tom for sending these beers. This is amazing, man. God. I mean, it smells so sweet and yet a little nice hop in there too as well. God, it does. It It, it just, you get like a, you do. It says candied orange. Bro, that's in there for real. Oh, okay. That's, that's not even fair. <laughs> Oh, that smells good. Just on the nose, that's a two-thumb beer. I'm telling you right now. Okay, this is the Stillings, all right? So let me go to the description here. See, see, see what – okay, the, the, the Nelson Suvine hop. I could be butchering that, but that's what I'm going with, the pronunciation, okay? Uh, hazy, okay, yeah, we got that. Pale orange in appearance, yeah, we got that. Uh, aromatic kiwi, white grape, lemongrass on the nose. Let's see. Ah, see? You still got that that sweetness, but at the same time, there is a grassiness in there, and it's a real subtle. It's not a cascade kind of real pow, kind of middle of the pine tree uh, type type earthiness. It's a it's a nice sweet subtle, uh, real nice sweet subtle type of pineness in there, and a and a little. Uh, yeah, a little sweetness. Maybe that's from the white grape combination with kiwi type blend in there. It is nice. God, okay. So let's sample the Sleeper Street first. Oh, man. My God, these are... Okay, oh, let me also cover... These beers do have a date on them, so this was... Uh, 
12 20 06. So I'm right at <clears throat> a little over 30 days here. What 39 days, right? Mm. Oh my god. Okay. Now, this is the sleeper street, remember? So let me let me go back to what they say the taste is. Hop driven flavors, bright citrus, melon. I'm getting a I'm getting like a I am getting a melon taste in a Mm. The mouthfeel is perfect. The mouthfeel is absolutely perfect in that beer. It is is a nice kind of a medium bodied beer. Mm. You get a really nice mellow, real calm uh, bitterness in there. It is not super hoppy at all. God, this would be so perfect with everything. <laughs> I mean, it is just so good and a nice, um, yeah, so I'm getting like a melon sweetness, like a calm kind of uh, melon and a pine type of mixture thing happening there. Very, very good. Let me get some water. I got some water here. Water or kind of, if you're having different beers at the same time, let's say you're ordering one of those sampler platters at your local brewery. Mm. Have them give you a little glass of water at the same time and do that in between beers to kind of even out your palate a little bit. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, very different experience, man. This is the Stilling Street. Now, this one says uh, delicate flavors of citrus citrus zest, okay, which is the, the, the white part of the peel from, you know what I'm saying? So pineapple and cantaloupe uh and a crisp malt character okay mild bitterness no charge this is this is the stealing street okay mm. very different experience i'm i'm getting a much more bitter beer uh from 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 this one and right now it's definitely closer to the 50 than it is the mid 40s And I'm just guessing it's just from <clears throat> tons of beer drinking experience. Hello. <laughs> okay, I'll be there in a minute. That's the washing machine. Dude, take me out of here. You know what I'm saying? Empty this thing. I'm done already, right? Yeah. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. This is it's still good, though. Not a super harsh. A uh, hot bite in there, but there nonetheless is um, citrus zest. Yeah, you're definitely getting that. You're definitely getting some some fruity type of flavors. I I don't know if I can distinct the pineapple or cantaloupe, but you're definitely getting some fruity sweet kind of flavors with a nice little citrus mild punch in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And the mouthfeel to both of these beers is about the same because they both have the same malt kind of a backbone. You know what I'm saying? Excellent beer. I give both of them two thumbs. Bing, 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 bing. Because you're getting different things from the same, you know, malt backbone type of beer from the same brewery. And since they have different... Uh, hops for the main kind of hop, you're getting different flavors out of them and different, different uh, uh, smells out of them. Similar, similar kind of smells, but different at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right now I'm leaning more towards the sleeper, just because of of what I'm gonna eat in a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of you know, uh, a, a little bit more, it goes a little bit more with that. Uh, but this Stillings is phenomenal as well. Mm. Ah, so, man, if, you, if you're in the Boston area and you can get a hold of some of this stuff, uh, I would recommend it, absolutely. Or if, you, or if you're able to get Stilling, I mean, a, 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 a Trillium, by it, by all means, get some in and, and and let me know what you think. Or if you've had it, let me know what you think. Comment. I'm not gonna do the whole comment below or over there or over there or anything. You know why? Because lately I've been watching you.
YouTube on my darn Apple TV on my TV. And every time someone goes like that, there's nowhere to see that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm noticing uh, no charge that there's a lot of the numbers of people that are watching uh, my videos on the TV is going up. So, oh, I don't know how much they cost, Ed Coach. We've got uh, a few people in the chat, and I'm always glad to have that because it, it does answer some questions as I'm reviewing. Uh, he wants to know how much they cost. I don't know. They were sent to me uh, by Tom, actually. And uh, so I don't have any idea how much they cost. I really don't. I'd hate to even guess. I don't, I don't, I really don't know. So uh, they were sent to me to sample and to review. So that's what I'm doing. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully that answers some of those questions and, and the different hops and, and, and what we should, should be. Uh, some people find it hard to describe beer. In other words, like they're tasting something. They don't know exactly what, how to describe it. And oh, uh, Ruben says it's uh, roughly five bucks a can. Uh, not exactly sure, but kind of ballpark. So um, hopefully that answers some of those questions. You know, it helps you get started with experience. It's kind of with a lot of things in life. With more experience drinking different craft beers, that's why I say it's it's important for you just not to trust my opinion to actually get these beers trying for yourself. With that experience of looking at the ingredients. Uh, sampling it yourself, you kind of learn, okay, this is what they say that you, sh you, you should be getting. This is what I, I am getting. Uh, different people have, you know, their, your tongues are different. Our noses are different. So we might get something that they intended and not get something that, that you know, so it's, you know, but you'll learn over time is what, is what, uh, is what is, yeah, not available in the UK. That's what Tony says. <laughs> yeah, that's, Tony's in, in in the UK. So yeah, he's, I don't think Trillium is going to be available over there yet, unless you have a buddy that literally is in Boston right now and is flying back with some. <laughs> then maybe you can get some. But uh, yeah, in the UK is going to be kind of tough. Anyway, guys, you guys take care. This has been long enough. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, comment. You know, give me a thumbs up, whatever the case you feel that you can do on your device that you're watching right now, do it. All right. Appreciate it, man. Peace out.